I'm wondering if you'd be willing to share with our viewers just a little information about what life was like for a woman before Roe v. Wade, uh, a woman who may have desperately wanted an abortion but could not legally get one. Yeah, so I myself am 35, so I've never been in a world that didn't have access to safe and legal abortion. But I have, as um, a young adult, uh, faced barriers to reproductive health care. And I can tell you that um, just trying to access birth control when I went to a college graduate school in New Jersey was hard enough. And I can't imagine being in a world where um, if seeking birth control was illegal or seeking an abortion was illegal. And we know far too well that even though Today, um, abortion is in theory um, legal and accessible. It's not for so many people. And so, what we saw, you know, in pre row, um, what I like to tell people is that, you know, abortions just didn't start happening after Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973. People stopped dying. You know, there were um, guidelines in medical books on how to treat sepsis for individuals who um, sought to um, do abortions on themselves or went to doctors who were not doctors are really shady, um, dangerous positions. And so Roe v. Wade um, protected safe and legal access so that individuals did not have to die from having bodily autonomy. Um, and unfortunately, we find ourselves in a moment where, you know, for so many people across the country, depending on your zip code, you're faced with very similar circumstances that were pre-Roe. And Kentucky is no exemption.